हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट डिग्री डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वेरिएबल सेपरेबल मेथड्स एंड वी विल एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ द फाइव और सिक्स एग्जांपल्स इन दिस लेक्चर माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीश गर फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेरियस वीडियोज वट वी हैव डिस्कस इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर दैट इज अ वट इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड द फर्स्ट डिग्री एज आई डिस्कस दैट इट्स अ वेरी स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विच कैन बी रिटर्न लाइक ऑफ दिस clearly says that what is the order of this differential equation is 1 what is the differential degree of the differential equation is 1 whether it's a linear or the non linear that depending upon the nature of this fx the first order first degree it can also be written like of this form why because i can written as dy by dx is my minus m function of the xy over this so for the sake of the simplicity i can consider this part i can consider this part as my f of x comma y so this is a first order first degree there are several methods involved how you can solve this first order first degree so in this lecture we will see the first method called as variable separable after this lecture we will see how it is homogeneous and so on in our next lecture the first question arises is what is the meaning of this separable so what is the meaning of this separable of the variable so if you have the first order differential equation here look make sure that the coefficient of the dy by dx is 1 that's a major question arises so if you write this f of x comma y that's a what is the meaning of the f of x comma y it can be of this form it can be of x square plus y it can be of x plus y any of the function in the form of the x comma y if you are able to write if you are able to write the function in the form of this then then only this separable method is applicable remember this is the only restriction about that when you are for example here can you write this function as first function is the function of the x second function as the function of the y you can see that if i take common y square from here which can be written like this way so what is that i can return this as 1 plus x square i can return as 1 plus y square which is f1x function which is totally dependent on the x which is totally dependent on the why so what is the meaning of that it means the separable method is applicable on this problem can you write this function if i take y square common from the numerator it can be written as 1 plus x if i take x square common from the denominator it can be written like this so can you say yes because this is the function of the y only and the rest are my x only so clearly say that this is a function of the y this is the function of the x only so it means the separable method is applicable here but if you consider this function say x comma y is my root of x plus y can you write the two functions separately in the form of the product you can't write in the form of f1 or f2y so it means whenever the f of x is in this form or any of the function which cannot be written then separable method is not applicable now how you can solve the differential equation how you can find the solution of the differential equation with the help of separable method so there are the two steps which i have defined firstly because if this condition satisfied then only this methods are applicable i can substitute this value here and i can take because this is a function of the y i can separate the variable of the y with respect to y and x with respect to x that's why because we separate the variable you can see we separate the variable that's why the method name is the separable separation of the variable method now once you can separate the variable then you can simply integrate on the both side and after solving the integration you will get the required solution of this differential equation where c is my r will be constant for example here firstly we can check whether we can apply the separable method or not it is a first order it is a first degree that's fine coefficient of the dy by dx is 1 again that's fine can i take e raised to power minus y common what is that e raised to power x plus e x square clearly says that this is the function of the x only this is the function of the y only so which is the form of the product so it means the separable method is applicable so we can write like this way now what is that we can take the separable method we can take this separate we can take like this way this is e raised to power minus y it can be written here integrating on the both side we will get here what is the integration of e raised to power y is my here what is the this is plus x cube over 3 plus c where c is my arbitrary 
constant. Clearly say, says that what is the order of this differential equation is 1. So there is only one RVP constant. Now, second example is can you find the separable method here? But remember that you have to firstly find the coefficient of the dy by dx is 1. Okay. So firstly you have to you have to open this which can be written as y minus x is a y square plus a dy over dx. So I can take the value of the dy by dx is y minus a y square over a plus x. I can return like this way. I can divide them here. Clearly says that this is the function of the y only. This is a function of the x only. So we can separate them. Now we can integrate them here. How you can integrate them? There are the two methods. You can completing the square or otherwise. Otherwise we can take the partial fraction. How you can take the partial fraction? That's a very simple. I can tell you the shortcut tricks. This is the y. So firstly you can substitute y is, equal, y is equal to 0 in this apart from here. So what is that? This is 1 over 1 minus 0. In this case what is the value of the y is? y is my 1 by a. So you can substitute anywhere at, apart from here. This is 1 over 1 by a. So it is a 1. It is my a. So you can see that. This is a over. This is 1 over. Now what is the integration of this? This is nothing but my log of y. What is the integration of this? This is my a is outside log 1 minus a y over minus a. What is the integration of this? Log of a plus x. So I can take the constant is also as a log c. I can cancel this a and a and it can be written here. So I from here you can solve this which is a arbitrary constant. Look about this one. So can it be solved with the help of these separable methods? So firstly we can take the partial, we can take it. I can return this function as 1 plus x square. I can take as a y square common 1 plus x square. So which is 1 plus x square and 1 plus y square. And make sure that the coefficient of the dy over dx make to be a 1. So what you can do is you can write this as x over y. So make sure that dy by dx should be a 1. Now can you write this as a separable form? Yes, because I can consider this as a function of the x only, other as a function of y only. So I can write as a separable form this. Now you can integrate them. How you can integrate them? I can multiply and divide by 2 on the both side here. So what I can take? I can take 1 plus y square as my say t then 2y dy is my dt. So this integration becomes my this is my dt over root of t. So which is nothing but half t raised to the power minus half plus 1 minus half plus 1. Similarly for here if I consider here then this will be here. So we can take the integration is here. You can solve them. We will get the required solution. Similarly for here, next example is you can find this firstly 2x here, which is of the 10y divided by x. Now you can see it's a first order first degree, but because of the 10y it's a nonlinear function. So it's still this method is applicable. So can you applicable? Yes, you can see this is a function of the x only. So I can return as 1 over 10y and this is 1 minus 2x square x of dx. So I can write as 1 upon 10 is cot. Now you can integrate them. What is the integration of the cot? That is nothing but my log of sin x. What is the integration of the 1 by x is log x. This is x square plus c is my arbitrary constant. I can take this 2 log as a common. So I can take this is sin y minus log of x. This is minus x square plus c. I can take minus as a uh, here, divide and we can find the value as this one. Look what the two more examples are there. Firstly, you have to find the value of the dy by dx. The coefficient should be 1, which can be written like of this. So we can return like this. So clearly say that this is a function of the x. This is the function of the x I can take here. We can integrate it on the both side, which is written like this. How you can integrate this? So if you take tan of y is say small of t then what is the meaning of that that derivative is secant square y dy is dt which is the numerator part so it means this integration is nothing but my log of tan y what is that if i consider this as e raised to power x minus 1 is t 
then ex dx is my dt so again this integration is ex dt is dt upon t that's again with the log of denominator consider cons as here i can take on this 3 as power of this as by the property of the logarithm so which is written like this so from here you can get this okay so can you solve this uh, here firstly make the coefficient to be 1 can you write this as a function can you write this one as of this no so it means can you write as a product of the two functions no because this is cannot be written here so what is the meaning of that separable of method is not applicable you can you can make a separable as here why how you can take say x plus y is my say t then you can take that derivative with respect to x it is my dt by dx so what is the meaning of the, if i substitute here what is that this is dt upon dx minus 1 which is 1 over t now you can make the separable method that is dt upon dx is t plus 1 over t now you can make them separable as here this is dt is dx now you can integrate them you will get this answer as small t minus log of t plus 1 is x plus c after that you can substitute the value of the x as x uh, small t as x plus y is the required answer. but that that's direct method is not be applicable you have to make them by using the substitution anyhow if if you don't want to make the substitution method then how you can solve this differential equations so but remember separable method is not applicable so for that we will try to solve this differential equation with the help of linear equations that will be our next lecture so some exercise for you six questions are exercise for you you can try to solve this and let me know your answer in the comment box you can verify it also from here and let me know your answers in the comment box whether you are able to solve the, all these questions in a very simple manner i hope you can simply learn this one we will see the next lecture on the linear equations till then you can simply like share and comment on my channel best of luck students thank you